What's up, Clemson Nation, guys? Been a while since I've been on here. I uh, haven't made a video since early in the ACC season for Clemson in basketball, so this will be a basketball wrap-up of the season and some talk on the NCAA tournament. Uh, Clemson finished 13-18, and worst season since 2002-2003 season. We knew, being the youngest Clemson team in school history this year, that, you know, there would be some struggle. Um... Obviously, I, I didn't think it would go as bad as it did. There's still some uh, some promise shown from the incoming freshmen. I mean, some of the sophomores. Uh, you know, Adonis Fowler looks like he'll be a, a promising point guard. And guard, uh, Jordan Roper obviously show, showed, you know, signs of just absolute great ability, great talent. You know, uh, but he seemed to just be hot for a second, and then he'd go cold the rest of the game. You know, we got to find a way to keep him hot the whole game. And he could be, you know, a very, very good player. Like, I mean, consistently in the 20s in scoring um, for us. You know, it's hard to say where to go from here. You know, 13 and 18, first time we haven't been to the postseason. Well, last year we didn't go to the postseason. Last year was the first time we didn't go to the postseason since that 2002-2003 season. We've been to at least the NIT or NCAA every year since then. Um... Brunel's teams are getting worse and worse. We got to, you know, I'll give him, obviously he's going to get another year, but if there's just another 13 or 12 win season, if we don't go to some kind of postseason next year, you know, that's when, you know, it's it's probably time to go because the style of basketball he's brought, and here's the thing, I think it needs to be completely, completely changed. We don't have the offense to play the, I mean, we're trying to play slow-paced, just great defense, so we'll have a chance because our shooting is so bad. Well, what this does is we run the whole shot clock out, and this forces us to take desperate shots late in the shot clock on offense, and we can't shoot, much less shoot in pressure situations. Most of the time it ends in a turnover or an air ball. You know, I think that this team needs to run a fast pace. We've got the speed. We've got the quickness. Next year, we're going to be a mostly guard team. We're not going to have much size. I, re I mean, I'm not saying go back t to Purnell's exact offensive strategy and defensive strategy, but, you know, when we did run the press this year, it worked most of the time. It was pretty successful. We have, we'll have depth next year. We'll have the bodies to be able to. This year, we didn't have the depth to even consider consistently running something like that with the injuries and transfers we had at the beginning of the season. Uh, we didn't even have a chance, but with Jerron Blossom game and Devin Coleman coming back next year, as well as the incoming freshman we will have, we won't have a senior on the team next year, but we'll have a, uh, hopefully a team that will be able to run the press. You know, just, we need to switch it up, Bruno. We need to switch it up. It's boring basketball right now. Nobody's interested in it, and it's not working. It's not working. So Clemson finishes 13-18. and 18. A key win of the year would probably be Virginia. We've played so close with so many top five teams, top ten teams. Almost beat Arizona, almost beat Gonzaga, almost beat Miami. You know, the list goes on and on, but free throws lost us those games at the end. Every single one of them, free throws lost us. Uh, we've gone back. I remember back in like 2004, 2005, Clemson was known for not being able to hit free throws. We've gone back to that. But that's that's... That's it with Clemson basketball. I still have faith in them that we can get it turned around next year. Uh, so let, let's talk a little about the NCAA tournament. Obviously, this year will be one with just, you know, so many, I mean, so many upsets probably. Nobody knows what's going to happen. It's been a crazy season. My Final Four personally, Gonzaga, Miami, Louisville, and uh, Georgetown. And I got Miami and Louisville in the national championship. Bold there for Miami because they haven't been here before. Miami, don't lose me any more money. Birdman, uh, me and Birdman worked that bet out. I'll be getting that to him as soon as I can. Um, he he obviously blew the bet away. They won like, uh, what, they're at 12 more wins than us right now, something like that. Ridiculous amount. Um, so obviously Birdman had this thing wrapped up a long time ago. The bet was, you know, whoever had the best record at the end of the year, it wasn't a head-to-head. Uh, bet it was a record bet and he uh he won well he would have won head to head easily anyway but uh so congrats to Birdman I get that to you as soon as I can um NCAA tournament Miami 
Louisville in the national championship with Louisville, the national champions. The state of Kentucky getting its second straight national championship. Um, you know, I'm excited to see some teams play, see if VCU can keep it up again. I got them going to the Sweet 16 again. So uh, we'll see if they can pull that off. You know, some other upsets, you know, people getting screwed. Oregon and Ole Miss, for example. I have both of them winning in the first round, even though they're 12 seeds playing five seeds. Um, very interesting tournament, and I'm ready to see it get underway, even though Clemson's not in it. And, yes, it's much more exciting when your team's in it. Um, I'm, I'm still excited to see it, you know. Still very excited to see some of these teams. We'll follow my bracket, as always, see if I can win this money. Um, but go Tigers, let's get it together. Obviously, I'll have more in football. Baseball coming up from the Tigers. Braves start two weeks from now, you know, excited for that. Just all, ex I mean, it's just sports time. It's just time for the best tournament in the country. March Madness NCAA tournament. We'll see what happens. We'll see if Miami can, uh, can actually help me out this time. Go Tigers.